on my not progress. Not in the two weeks I've known you. Okay, they're, they're not that regular. I sent the last update uh, about a couple of days before I met you, Shiki. Oh, okay. Which I haven't received a response back yet, surprisingly. Well, it, it's not it's like he can... Deep, out, out of character, is that surprising? No. <laughs> You're now on the other side of the damn planet from where he thinks you are. Oh, by the way, uh, Liz is going to take out the Sending Stone and send a message back to... Uh, Chase and say, hey, if a, if a letter shows up for me, could you um, hold it or let me know? Thanks. Put it and back Chase in the uh, bag back. holding. The Chase will respond back. Um, sure. <laughs> uh, is there anything else? You Any danger or anything you found? Well, and we gotta wait 24 wait hours. For the next day. <laughs> just wait for the next day now. Right, so... Uh, to answer your question, it, no, Father does not know where I'm at. I, I guess we, if he wants to, go to I guess if he wants to know more about things, we private. I uh, guess. Do you have a place in mind? I have an in room, probably the penthouse, the best in the place. I say it's the penthouse, but it's nowhere near as good as the throne room. But it is still has a nice balcony and everything else. You know, when I asked for a nice bed at the first inn I stayed at, they laughed me out of town. Yes, well, you probably were not in good territory. He, yeah, well, you probably know where it's, I was heading, so... It is it is quite nice here. Oh, yes, this is a rather nice place, considering it's rather small. Yeah, I know, it, it's almost like you can't move in here at the moment. Well, I would offer to buy you a drink as thanks, but I, f I figure you've already taken care of that, so... Cheers! Sure. She's gonna dunk, dunk the rest of her drink. Good. And he'll kind of raise his glass up and drink it as well. Um, Sariel is slowly nursing her own drink. Liz's gonna hold up a, a hand. Two more, please. And bartenders quickly comes by and drops them off. Um... She actually appears to be pretty much the same as a Tagi. The way her ears flop and everything else. Bunny. Is this a real bunny girl or just a bunny girl because it's a nice Roll a perception. <laughs> Roll a perception. Get on it. <laughs> you're pretty sure they're real. You don't know for sure, but you're pretty sure they're real. Shiggy, you know absolutely that they're real. I'm rolling inside just in case. <laughs> it could be. It could right, be. Roll inside. Roll it inside be. just to make sure. You're pretty sure it's actually also a guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Why did you I'm roll not... the inside, Shiki? Why? <laughs> Lily? Lily? Those, mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. coconuts are coconuts. Yeah? So? No, no, they are, they're real. They're actual coconuts. <laughs> you can tell looking at them that they are indeed not coconuts, but there's not much to them. <laughs> well, uh, let's let's head towards your rooms then, sir. I... And he's just kind of the and Darwin just kind of looking at the uh, bunny as they walk by. So that's why they turned down my offer. Yeah. That... I'm glad you picked up on that as well. In yes. a way. She's kind of cute, though. Yes. It's like, it seemed the, right at first, but then as I started speaking to them, it just... No, let's just go upstairs. <laughs> off. <laughs> Enough, let's go upstairs. It's... <laughs> Sariel's already, like, she's just eyes closed, head down, shaking her head even more. Why do I stay around you? I question... I question that about my ally sometimes. And the the group of you will head up to um his room. It's at the end of a long hallway. He opens it up and it opens up into it's a pretty nice sized room. There's bed off to the side, a number of chairs around a small table, a balcony, like table probably be a good size to play a poker game at. Oh boy. My my ta my tail's back a little. <laughs> Liz's gonna sit down at the table. So, you found some interesting trinkets in your journeys out and about. Well, trinkets is one way to put it. Um, I'm sure you've noticed my companion here. 
Juggle, 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 juggle. Just, <laughs> well, sorry. Just, I shouldn't yes, be juggling. I, I should met her back at the beach. Yeah. We've we've met. You could say that she's a little bit out of this world. Eccentric. Say the safety comes off. <laughs> yes. Well, all mm. of her kind and the bunnies down there and. I'd assume the same place your ears as well, though I don't have any confirmation of that. I believe they all are out of and, this world, so to speak. And from the brief history I know of you, you seem to like the otherworldly stuff. Well, I'm actually been investigating it. I mean, what really can we be said? We know so little about the other world, and it's becoming more and more apparent that it's becoming a very major aspect of ours now. Hmm. Azul's with us, right? Azul's with you, yes. Right. Before I tell you anything else, and forgive me for this, but what are your motivations for learning more? Well, in all Surely honesty, your father doesn't care that much? No, he doesn't. Nobody in the royal family cares. You know that better than anyone. They only care about what gives them more power and everything else. Why would they investigate to know the secrets of the universe? Only if they thought they could gain more power from it. Of course. I'm just... I was always curious. Want to learn more of the future, more of everything <laughs> around. And, wandering about, I did come across a few interesting things, and, oh, what happened just the other week only seemed to be even more interesting. The other week? Ah, uh, well, I heard a tale that came down from Redwall, actually. The the dwarves are in an uproar right now. Oh? <laughs> well, they'll tell you, at least as far as they let people know, that there was an orc assault on the city up in uh, Sanctuary. At the city of uh, Sanctuary. Not Sanctuary. What the crap is that town? I gotta go to the world map real quick to double check the town. Do, do, Union do. City, that's what it was. I think it was Union City. How recently? Uh, it was about a week ago. Hmm. You see, I'm sure that the dwarves have been playing up this grand new warship they have had. Yeah, I took a ride on that once. Oh, you have? Hmm, then perhaps you might be able to help me put together a few details, because from what I understand the story, that ship was stolen. That seems to be very difficult. Oh, yes. They claim it was orcs, but, well... In my investigations, I've come across a orc-like race that seems to be much more powerful than uh, nearly any uh, mortal. Uh, um, were they there wearing any... hats? Were they wearing hats? I believe there was a report of hats. Most uh, of them with hats, wearing, wielding pole weapons. Oh sword. god. Better that seemed to explode off the oh end. God, oh 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 god. There was a another one as well, I remember in the report. A the leader of sorts, and nobody really knows much of anything about them. Like anyone who saw from what I understand in the reports could not even describe them. Shiki, would you mind showing him Bigby? Hmm? How do you know I named named him that? Because you screamed out Bigby when you pulled it out and shot. Uh huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I uh I I I uh put it out like toilet in my hands. Then uh then the steady hit pointed at pointed at the wall. And it looked at it. At him. Hmm. So it like this. I didn't see it personally, but I would assume from the rumors they mentioned there was a small device that the that man, whomever it was, was wielding as well. You Does it make? Is it like yeah. a? Yeah, yeah, a yeah, just, just, just stand, just stand where you are, right there. Hold on, hold on, don't, don't fire it in here. We'll draw the guard on us. C come out, no, I'm going to show him out on the balcony. Mm. I, if it does similar things to that, I don't think you should shoot it up there either. <sighs> but yes, you guys, you guys are no fun. <laughs> but from what I understand of the rumors, that it was stolen by them and this man, which is rather curious because the reports of the man. Like I said, there's no one can really identify him, and no one. Everything I've learned of these strange orc-like these orc-like creatures, they just 
they don't even seem to work with anyone whatsoever, let alone towards a goal other than fighting, and they took a ship and left, leaving most of a Dwarvish army sitting there. Yeah, Quirk could do that. They they say that the fight itself is their reward. Yes, that sounds rather accurate. This ain't good. We... But, but yes, like the, when they actually gave chase to the ship, it went into a fog bank and completely disappeared out the other side, not even five minutes later when it cleared. That and all these other strange things going on, the, the island, of course, which vanished about a week or two ago, these various storms have been kicking up more and more, strange new creatures, your kind as well, miss... I don't think I caught your name? Just Shiki. Miss Shiki. No, no, like the no, bunny miss. and all... No, miss. Or, oh, yes, of course, missus. Like no, all, no. like the bunny <laughs> and everything else that we have encountered recently. So, so tempting. So tempting. <laughs> you put yourself up for it. No, it's not that. It's, yeah, just don't worry. I'm just, I'm just gonna have a hug by as with Hug. And his little kind of just puts her arm around Shiki to hug her back, acting very well. Um, and just a bunch of things like that, as well as various, a few random artifacts have been recorded here and there as being located. Obviously, everything that the dwarves have been working on has come from one such artifact, and I believe I've had a lead into another. Um, well, while he's talking, Lily is just kind of doodling on a piece of paper, and as he stops talking, she's going to show him the piece of paper, and it's got the sigil of storms on it. Does this look familiar? Yes, it does. You, you mean, you mean uh, like this? And I hold it, I put out the surgeon, and I show him the sigil on that. Yes, yes, it looks quite like that. Oh, okay, good. We may have come across a couple of those trinkets and the creator of those trinkets. I woke up. I woke up with one. Ah, is that so? Hmm. Well, I've been in planning to head down towards the Blight, make my way inland, and check out the tower to see if perhaps we can't learn a bit more going on there. If I might make a suggestion, heading south might get you closer to what you're looking for. We're actually investigating a trinket ourselves. Lily, Lily, why would you... I can safely say that there's nothing south. Um, I think we can safely say there is something south. Yeah, then you might just have to prove me wrong and go down there and investigate yourself. Well, I guess we will. Did you already find something south? Can I roll insight? I'm you can roll an insight. insight on... You can roll an insight. I will roll insight. Shiki. Shiki will pick up on this Lily or not. He says his confidence is absolute in a way that you're pretty sure he's already found it. Hey, mind if I see that stick of yours for a second? I must apologize. I'm rather attached to it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Lily? Hmm? I found what we're looking for. Hmm. Even though you're attached to it, could you at least show it to us? Hmm. Or a percept uh, persuasion? A persuasion. Eh, well... I suppose it wouldn't be the worst thing ever, and he'll kind of lift it up to show it to you. Kind of shows you the bottom of it. You can see that there is a very small indentation of the sigil there. And what does it do? Well, that would be telling. Yes, it would be. Yeah, well, you know, you know my secret. Yes, but is that all the secrets you have? Actually, it is all the secrets I have. She she <laughs> doesn't have much for memory, but. And what of you? I have more secrets. <laughs> well, then we'll have to do a trade one for one. Sure. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. <coughs> Sorry. One second real quick. <laughs> he will go over to the door, he will open it up, and he will throw a bellboy to the floor. <laughs> Kindly don't listen at the door. <laughs> he closes the door again. Now then, now to start off with, I suppose I can at least explain what... I don't know if it's the proper name for this, but it's what I've come to call it. A null rod. 
a null rod. Yes. It's, it's gonna nullify the general area, I'm guessing. It's mostly used with magic. It seems to completely fry a lot of magic in the area when used properly. Interesting. Is there a uh, a button you press or something? Mm. Yeah, there's a button near the tip here, and it'll kind of chew the top of it, flip it open. You see that there's actually two buttons. And what does the other one do? Mm. It makes it very easy to stop a spellcaster in their tracks. So, count a spell. <laughs> what? Sorry. I will, I will say uh, an item like that would be greatly helpful in our journeys. Yes, I'm sure it would, but... Well, first of all, the trade. Ah, oh, yes, the trade. As we were investigating towards the northwest, we came across a walking, monstrous, metallic uh, creature. It looked like some sort of lizard type of thing. And it uh, attacked us. It made this big smoke fog cloud around it. Uh... It was quite a battle, really. We were able to dissemble it, and uh, Lily reaches into the bag and pulls out the the sigil, uh, the the big piece of metal with the sigil on it, and we were able to extract this from it. Where was that? Where was that? <laughs> you can say in the Redwall Mountains. <laughs> it was Redwall? Okay, I thought it was it, to it the was west. In, it was in the mountains. No, it was in Redwall Mountains. Oh. It was actually north east of Redwall itself. That was uh, that was near Redwall. Um, actually, I believe it was between Union City and Redwall. Oh, yes. Ah, that, then the report I heard was true. So, that's how Sindri was able to make those things. I also know the identity of the man who created all of these. If you, what... if you give me that prod, I will give you his name. Hmm... As tempting as that is, hmm, I must refrain. This is f going to be far too useful to me for anything short of, well, I'm not that desperate for his name. Azul, should we offer anything in addition to that? Azul figured, no, I, I don't think he'd, uh, we should, but a uh, Nora, that sounds right. Hmm. Oh well. I was willing to offer you slightly more, but uh, my companions tell me that I should not. Well, if you're going to offer your body, Lady, just do it. I, I don't think that that would pay for what he's looking I, for. I, I, I w As w this is going on, Serio will speak up. Do, what about, do you, any of you happen to know anything about the storms, though? Yes. What do you know about them? I've... I've been investigating them a lot, uh, as well as a lot of the same time, and it seems the things that he's been finding, this rod and whatever else he's investigating is related, but uh -huh. the storms are just... That is one of the major reasons we wanted that rod, but, you know, we, so, we just simply... My partner told me I should not give any more information until we can have that rod. Just, just, I'm just listening in to that elf. Mm-hmm. I'm she sorry. Does that elf seem genuine? Into the, the inside. Elf seems, the, the elf is extremely genuine in this. She, I, you've already gotten the feeling that she's kind of just here because they're going the same direction, and she's not very happy with a lot of the stuff she that um, Darwin does. And it's mostly that he is apparently rather effective at what he does. Pain in the ass. If you can persuade Darwin to trade that rod for. A little more information, maybe, but I'd have to try to persuade my companion to allow me to do so. Azul speak up. Well, it's not like I didn't want to tell him more information. I just didn't think that was worth the trade for the rod. It probably isn't. Well, he turns back to Darwin. So I can help out your friend, and you can give me the rod. Or we can both go on our separate ways. I can offer you a little bit more information. 
for a bit of information of your own, because I do apologize. Well, not really, but I will not be giving up this rod. Hmm. What's the nature of the information you're willing to trade? Well, I believe it goes into the origin of a lot of our curiosities going forward. I'm sure you've probably at least noticed or heard the rumors or started putting together a few of the details, but everything that happened, the various new races showing up, these artifacts, all of that. The island itself may have appeared only a year ago, but everything else began 11 years back. When the war ended and the blight formed, that Mm -hmm. eruption of magical energy, there is still a lot of energy in the area, and the best I can see with the reports is that area is essentially a magical maelstrom in several planes seem to intersect in the tower. I'm intending to investigate to see if I may determine more of an origin of where this is all coming from, if that's a focal point, so to speak. The planes intersect in the tower in the blight? Yes. They seem to connect to a few different places. I'm not really too sure of the details. I haven't been able to get close to investigate. At least not yet. I'm... Well, in turn, I will give you actually two pieces of information. First is, I know of a similar tower, farther to the north, in which all of the planes, all of the elements happen to be, what was the word, inverted? Hmm, interesting. That might be something you may want to check out. But be careful, a friend of mine went there, and he didn't show up for another 30 years afterwards. Ah, so this has to deal with the tale of the new Count of Ashfield. Yes. That was what I was sent to uh, help with, after all. Yes. And the second bit? The second bit is the man who created all of these items, she points at the rod that he's holding. He is, well, as you can probably guess, closely related to storms. Some of his children have very interesting abilities. I've begun to call them furies. They're, they, they basically are able to create a storm around them. One of their member, uh, one of them is, uh, is able to disguise her appearance for a long period of time afterwards. People have seen her and just could not describe her whatsoever. Hmm, that matches the same description as what was being told what happened at Union City. Oh no. Though that described a male, not a woman. It could possibly be that from a distance she looked male. Or it could be someone else altogether. Someone working with the Corican. Could be uh, could it be could be a son. Oh that could be yeah, that could be mm. Well, I do have more information that I would be willing to trade for that rod and perhaps maybe we can Perhaps maybe a we quick can't give journey. Everything. Not everything. I could probably offer a quick journey to the north if uh, he were to give me that rod. But other than that, I don't. I don't know as if uh, we'll actually be able to put all the pieces together without it. Hmm. And I'm hmm. certain you won't be able to put all the pieces together on your own without the several pieces that we have. <sighs> How would you get us up there? She just gives a sly smile. I have my ways. You I mean have my own already prepared to head up as well. Always faster. Much faster. <laughs> like like I would probably beg to differ. Uh well can you can your way basically cut across the country? Yes, actually it can. Huh. It's your way a teleporter. Oh no, it's nothing explicitly magic. Is it your little dinghy? <laughs> Yes, actually, in a way. And at this point, Serio just kind of seems to kind of shake her head more, muttering under her breath. It's, a, it's just some kind of flying ship, ain't it? You don't know. What's uh, what's wrong, Sarai? I don't like that boat. I really don't like that boat. Why not? What's the matter with the boat? It's such a small boat. <laughs> in the wind. 
And yeah, I don't like that boat. Ours is larger. Yeah, he's he's got a like he's got like a flying lifeboat. Oh come now, it's not that bad. It's it's a flying lifeboat, isn't it? <sighs> it's not magic or anything of the sort. Then how do you get across the land? <sighs> Roll perception, or not perception, persuasion. Yes, and I know. We'll be wrapping it up probably after this. If you must know, when I discovered this rod, I found a journal of sorts. And the journal depicted a much a number of things, some of it a bit beyond my scope and scale of being able to work with, but one of the more easy things that I could work with depicted a strange levitation method. In essence, it's I am somewhat using magic to make that ship fly, and yes, it is indeed flying, but it's only flying through completely mundane properties. There's this strange gas Hylium, something like that, which I'm able to summon from the plane of the elemental airs, and it filled in a great grand balloon. Uh, oh, what's the proper word? Like a balloon or sack with it. And then using uh, various pressures built up through decanters of endless water to make it heavier or lighter so it will go up or down, and then using the same pressure from a few combined at the back to pro pro propel forward. Uh, father would not appreciate me buying that many decanters, but it does actually do a rather decent job. <laughs> Shiki, I believe our way is faster. I think our way is a lot faster. Our way also yeah. takes a lot less um, decanters yeah, of water. Well, yeah, I'm sure it's probably not that much faster. I mean, I could make it from here to Gate if I really wanted to in we, two days. We we only need to use the decanter for the bath, don't we? Mm. Or to, you know, spray at foxes that are being bad. I don't do... Azul, <laughs> kind of speak up. What, you said you could make it from here to Gate in two days? It took us a little over three. Well, we we were interrupted as well. Honey, why would you, why would you say that? Because it's faster. I uh, I think I know what the system he's talking about. It was yeah. Uh, 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 I shall name it Blimp because it's a funny word. Uh. Anyway, if you <laughs> don't really have any intentions of helping us up there or anything else of the sort, then I do believe that we'll simply just be on our way. And you should probably see yourself out and, well, we'll probably head out tomorrow. Okay. I feel like we could work together if you wished. Oh, I'm sure we absolutely could, but I will not be giving up this rod. Yeah. You seem very adamant about that. Is, is there any particular reason why? Does the rod speak to you or something odd like that? This is the only such device in existence yes. that I have encountered that will guaranteeedly nullify nearly any magic. And you have a friend with you that is keeping you safe, but you are not walking into the jaws of death themselves. We are. On a regular basis. And you think I don't normally go into danger myself? Y you killed a dragon yet? Yes, actually. Though it was only a young one. Uh, right. Yeah, adult, green, and it's and it's half blood children. Mm. And all the Korokin that came to fight it as well. Hmm. Did you say, uh, your little ride ain't gonna protect you from bullets? Or fire. But my thought is we could team up. We could investigate one of these sites or s together, work together, and perhaps gain more information by putting our minds together. Because uh, I'm, I'm not the brightest. I'm sure you've heard stories. You've got me. You've got me. It was good. But uh, I do have some people who can 
give you some insight, and you might be able to give us some insight. Hmm. We'll have to speak of tomorrow after we've spoken to Des. Des, Des, Des. <laughs> yes, Val, you are correct. Yeah. <laughs> and I think at that point it'd be a good point to call it a session. All right. Until tomorrow, then. Until tomorrow. Good day. Let's uh, let's go find a room and end off the session. Just end off the session now, and I see you can find a room and everything else. Thank you. Bye.